हेलो टू ऑल वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑफेंसिव हैकर एसोसिएट कम्युनिटी इन दिस सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग टू द ओ आर टी पी सर्टिफिकेशन प्रोग्राम विच स्टैंड फॉर ऑफेंसिव रेड टीम प्रोफेशनल सो वॉट इज दिस कोर्स ऑल अबाउट आर वी प्रोवाइडिंग एनी लैब रिगार्डिंग टू दिस दिस इज लाइव सेशन और रिकॉर्डेड सेशंस वॉट आर द डोमेन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस प्रोग्राम सो ऑल दिस बेसिकली क्वेश्चन पीपल हैव आस मी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ आंसर ऑफ ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन ओके इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो so what exactly is the course all about so for example let's see if you are in organization and uh, you want to perform a red teaming the question here is how you going to conduct it right this is one of the question okay like always came in our mind uh, before answering this one let me okay I'll explain to you about one more thing okay which, which is basically people always confuse regarding to the term called penetration testing red teaming and threat hunting so how you differentiate okay these three things like what is penetration testing what is red teaming and what is threat hunting so let me discuss on that part first and then okay we'll come to the red teaming part and how we design the course and i'm going to talk on that particular area as well in this particular section so when we talk about penetration testing right what is penetration test so you can see that we don't know anything about the technology and we are performing a penetration test identifying the vulnerability weaknesses okay in the system or technology and based on this okay we are exploiting that is basically called penetration testing there are again certain limitations are there okay in this this will discuss okay in the later section but i want to give a summary of all what exactly is a penetration test second on the other hand there is a threat hunter so you will always find the people okay in the organization working as a pen tester or the threat hunter or soc engineer and many many uh, domains are available okay in one organization right so let's talk about threat hunting so when you talk about threat hunting threat hunting basically is a proactive approach what do you mean by the proactive approach it means before the bad guy attack or bad guy pounds we need to hunt it we need to attack it for the organization for the particular organization we need to conduct all the test that is called threat hunting so threat hunting basically uh, when you talk about threat hunting we always focus on ioc indicator of compromise but this is not the only way we also focus on ioa indicator of attack and i have a popular video also recorded okay on youtube you can go and check what's the difference between ioa and ioc basically indicator of compromise and indicator of attack so threat hunting basically as i mentioned to you is a proactive approach we focus more proactively and looking for a threat okay based on the indicator of compromise and also we focus on ioa indicator of an attack and there will be a, a lot of thing like cyber kill chain mito framework and all these will come under this category coming to the red teaming so red teaming basically is something unique and this is okay like my favorite area uh, we call it the red team operation so what do you mean by the red teaming so when you talk about red teaming basically we are talking about organization defenses organization assets and we also focus on their responses part like how quickly organization going to respond this is about the red teaming part but nowadays the challenges are the technology if you see the technology technology is completely changing every day the technology is changing and you can see that when you are going for one technology a new technology will uh, will be coming in the market right that's how okay like is happening to everybody whoever in this cyber security domain is a very painful process if i tell to you so when you talk about uh, this thing like for example let's say like let's look into that uh, organization structure so right now each and every organization they are working on cloud domain they are working on containers they are working on devops environment specifically banks also uh, networks also there cloud api api now you can see 95% nowadays we have api so if you see that infrastructure like is very complicated nowadays and you can see how many people really know how to hunt or how to look for the issues regarding to this technologies i'm not talking about specifically vulnerability because we're discussing about red teaming which is basically called what and if is condition okay we will be into phrase okay for red teaming right what will happen if this thing happens something like that you can you can correlate okay like our uh, like whatever uh, we have added like perimeter of defense this is more than enough okay to uh, uh, secure the infrastructure so this all the entire process we are going to assess and we are performing a red teaming on that okay basically Uh, organization defenses we try to bypass all sort of action okay we are performing and try to bypass the systems and the technology whatever okay we have implemented for the particular organization and that is basically we are going to learn okay in this particular program red team operations and you become a red team operator so whatever the name just now i mentioned red team operator red team operation is not that simple okay people look into this right now okay, if you see in the market in the industry uh, area right people always focus on the tool based thing 
and here okay like i'm against this okay tool is only for visibility we mainly focus on manual thing we'll do by in, in the learning phase we'll be focusing more on automation as well as manual because nowadays we have a uh, artificial intelligence things we have a uh, lot of software okay like uh, uh we are using okay based on artificial intelligence so this also have added okay in this particular program but like how the architecture working for the particular organization what are the asset what are the business assets what are the critical assets um are are we have checked okay all the defenses part do you uh, do we have any checklist for that this each and everything okay we need to first Uh, write it somewhere and based on this okay we need to work on that operations like how we are going to bypass it this is all we are going to focus on in this particular program right now coming to the point so the i'm i was discussing about the technology right you can see how many technology are there okay in the market so the question here is are we able to handle all this technology i'm talking about vulnerability point of view i'm talking about exploration point of view so are we ready for this technology so mostly i think people know about replication they have no idea how to handle docker if people know about docker they have no idea how to handle the cloud if people know about cloud they have no idea about the network vice versa so in this particular program we have added okay all the domains okay like wide variety of domain we have added and we have created this particular program for everybody who are working in in corporate okay maybe people want to start okay the career in red teaming activity he can directly start and we will be covering everything from basics so first first of all let discuss what are the domain we are covering okay in this particular red teaming program so if i go to my uh, website which is basically a uh, hackerassociate.com you can simple go there and you can see that here is the red teaming professional program so take your expertise to next level in red teaming activity with ortp so what are the domain we are covering okay in this section so we are going to cover this domain like reconnaissance so this is not a normal reconnaissance okay which generally people generally talk about like nmap or mars scan or this one here okay we'll basically we are going to do a something unique here okay so we are going to implement here one uh, phase called reconnaissance there is basically first phase of 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 information gathering and we are basically going to uh, perform for the organization okay we are going to conduct the reconnaissance okay for the organization so this is not a normal uh, reconnaissance okay i am going to give you the latest technique regarding to this and we'll be going to learn okay in more detail second part is basically we are focusing on offensive AWS red teaming practices so this is basically we're focusing on AWS part right AWS so uh, as i mentioned every every organization move toward the cloud and they have no idea how to perform a red team operation okay in the cloud environment so we've added okay like offensive AWS module as well as azure and then active directory azure active directory all these module okay have added okay in this particular program domain number 4 will be focusing on IPv4 and IPv6 then we'll be going to focus on offensive kerberos container technology kubernetes okay dev sec ops we'll be going to learn and my favorite tool is called cobalt strike privilege escalations we are going to learn and domain tool domain 12 basically focusing on credential access command and control application security and exfiltration so when you talk about application security we are talking about api replication ssl how we are going to handle that particular traffic on the particular premise or maybe okay you are working on okay on the cloud environment each and every module i have added okay in this particular program right apart from this okay like we have added okay scenario by scenario learning so we'll be giving a scenario to each and every candidate and then we'll be giving appropriate time to the candidate okay to perform this particular uh, work on the scenario and then okay in the end okay we'll be providing a proper solutions and the lab whatever we are providing is completely lifetime there is no subscription based charges there is no requirement okay to pay monthly basis is completely lifetime whenever we go module by module you'll be getting an idea how to how to play with the labs how to create the labs and how you can work with the real world because i'm morely focusing on the real world environment rather than the lab environment okay so example let's say real ip live ip how we can check on that okay organization we have a lot of network example it's a 500 machine up and running so how we are going to, going to conduct the red teaming on that area how okay we are going to conduct the red team operation for okay multiple organization maybe if any so lot of scenario okay like we have created okay for everybody so this will help you to just develop okay, your imagination power so once we develop the imagination because we can say that hacking is in science and art right we need to develop 
so rather than okay running the tools is will not give you the success okay it is basically the art we should we need to develop it okay so this i'm going to give you each and every uh, technique okay I'm, i'm going to provide to you in this particular program i'm going to give you my own cheat sheet okay in this particular program and about me i am a founder and ceo of hacker associate i work with uh, multiple organization i also work with okay government agencies like army uh, military navy across the globe i have written the two books named offensive sniffing and offensive application attack for more information about me okay you can simply check on google just type hacker space harshad i also have 50 km wifi network and many many things i have done okay in past and i have around 10 year of experience and i am a black hat hacker basically so whatever okay you are uh, expecting this program technically you are you will be a super awesome okay after finishing this training your technical level will be will be at extreme level okay after finishing this training even if you have any question any 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 doubt regarding this training okay you can you can simple uh, book a demo and you can just take a live training and then okay you decide okay this course is meant for you or not this is all for this section i hope okay you got an idea about this overall structure of this ortp and and the last okay basically we are focusing on scenario as as i mentioned to you and there will be exam okay after finishing the training so it's around 12 hour exam the exam is not easy okay exam is tough okay you need to practice little bit and then okay you can go for the exam even by the way i'm going to take a boot camp you can simply attend it and then okay you can go for the exam so i hope you got an idea okay and uh, i'll see you okay in the sessions thank you